only 3% of water on our planet is fresh. Water is the source of all living beings on this beautiful planet, though only a small percentage of it is fresh, with most of it being polluted. Hi, we are students of SMK Pandan Mewa, participating in the Malaysian Conference for Young Scientists. I'm Ryan, this is Jared, and this is Huiwen. The title of our project is called The Duen Has Activated Carbon for Water Purification. The main reason for choosing water purification is the rising need for fresh water. Due to negligence from personnel, 50% of our rivers in Malaysia are polluted. That is why we hope to find a better way which is more efficient to purify the water from contaminants. The main objective of our project is to study the novel durian husk activated carbon in water purification. Many studies have been conducted on the efficiency of activated carbon but not comparing the ability between such biomasses as activated carbon. The different biomasses used in the experiment are durian husk, orange peel, coconut husk, banana peel, and charcoal to be our constant. In addition, the biomasses chosen are one of the most abundant food waste in our Mal country, Malaysia. Therefore, by using such material, we are reducing the food waste problem in our country. Urine husk is chosen as the primary biomass. The main factor for this choice is the abundance of durian in our country. With every year after durian season, our landfills are filled with its shells being cast away after eating its flesh. Therefore, it is the top contributor to food waste. Though, here's the question. Why are durian husks considered to be a good candidate to be activated carbon? What is activated carbon? Yes, Kifei. Activated carbon is a type of carbon that has been processed to have pores of different sizes to increase its surface area. Activated carbon is used most notably in water purification. It works by the process of adsorption, where contaminants collect and bind onto the surface and pore structure of activated carbon. Nowadays, studies on the production of activated carbon has been leaning toward the use of biomass, which could be a possible replacement or alternative to conventional charcoal-based activated carbon. Of all the biomasses available, we pick durian husk as our main focus. This is because durian husk is one of the most abundant food waste in Malaysia, with over 50% of the entire food consists of the husk that is being thrown away. Despite being a seasonal fruit, durian husk can actually be a practical and viable activated carbon because of the high production of durian, which is expected to surpass 440,000 tons in 2030. Besides, based on the November 2019 study by KSU Kanwa, durian has activated carbon as the highest absorption cap capacity at 874 mg per gram. That is thanks to the high carbon content of durian husk, which is 39.3%. Its absorption potential is also proven in some past studies, such as on dye absorption, carbon monoxide absorption, and until most recently in 2021, durian husk activated carbon has been studied with a potential future in groundwater treatment. Through our study, we attempt to contribute to this field by further exploring the possibility of durian husk activated carbon in water purification. And we do that by comparing the efficiency of durian husk activated carbon with four other biomass activated carbons, namely banana peel, orange peel, charcoal, and coconut husk. On the secondary note, we could also repurpose food waste in Malaysia. The first step of our experiment would be to prepare the biomass activated carbons. We produce our activated carbon through microwave induced chemical activation as this method is cost efficient and energy efficient. 
We clean the durian husk, charcoal, coconut husk, orange peel and banana peel with water and to remove any dirt. Then, the biomasses are dried under the sun for 24 hours and dried in the oven for a further 5 hours at 105 degrees Celsius to remove all moisture. After that, we ground them into smaller granules. Next, the biomass underwent chemical activation by soaking them in critic acid from lemon juice and left overnight. This process is to enlarge the pores on the biomasses. Subsequently, they are rinsed repeatedly with distilled water and oven again at 105 degrees Celsius for 5 hours. Finally, we microwave the biomasses at 160 watts for 15 minutes to complete the activation process. We collected water samples from tap water and pool water to be treated with activated carbon. For each type of activated carbon, 350 ml of water samples are filtered 3 times through a filter design, just like the one beside me. After that comes the test, which include turbidity, pH level, chlorine test and biochemical oxygen demand BOD, to prove our hypothesis that durian has activated carbon has potential in water purification. Turbidity is obtained through observation. pH levels are tested with a pH reagent, while chlorine is tested with a chlorine test kit. According to the results that we have collected, the activated carbons have reduced the pH level of the water samples, giving the water a higher acidity. All activated carbons have also successfully removed traces of chlorine from the water samples. For the BOD test, we use 0.1% methylene blue solution as an oxygen indicator. The fast discoloration of methylene blue solution will indicate the highest BOD level and water pollution rate. As we can see from both charts, while the activated carbons succeeded in lowering the water pollution rate, the most significant findings came from durian husk and coconut husk activated carbon. This means that the BOD levels are the lowest and water pollution rates are the lowest. Regarding the result, we find that coconut husk and durian husk activated carbon are quite comparable in strength. We believe that further investigations to a better preparation method of durian husk activated carbon could help bridge the gap between coconut husk and durian husk activated carbon in water treatment and open the door to the implementation of durian husk activated carbon in waterproof. As seen in the experiments, our outcome has shown that durian husk is a viable and potential biomass to be converted into activated carbon. The results have shown that it is comparable to that of coconut husk as well as might be even better than others biomasses such as charcoal, banana peels and orange peels. Further modifications may be implemented to our design such as adding multiple layers of activated carbon as well as refining it into smaller granules using specialized equipment to increase the output and efficiency of our activated carbon. Additionally, we also intend to study the optimum condition to prepare durian husk to become activated carbon in order to make it market ready for water purification. We hope our project will aid the development of water purification systems in our country, as well as opening up a new chapter for the uses of biomasses. In addition, this will also reduce our need for large area landfills. Next time, when you're about to throw away your durian husk, why don't you think about our water? <laughs>